Hi guys, uh, today we're gonna do a very short uh, video um, showing you how to replace uh, the screen, uh, the LCD uh, only in uh, Lenovo uh, ThinkPad uh, T470. Uh, same procedure works with the T460. And uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's uh, let's dig into it. Uh, let me show you how the screen looks uh, originally in the in the computer as it was brought in by the customer. So. As you can clearly see, it is cracked all the way here, so that will have to be obviously replaced. Now, uh, you can find uh, you can find the screens uh, online; uh, they're um, pretty common. Uh, make sure you choose. Uh, make sure you pay attention if the finish of the screen is uh, matte, like this one, or it's a glossy. The matte one uh, reflects less of the light, and is preferred by many people. Uh, so yeah, uh, now this is the replacement screen. Uh, it looks like it's a glossy, but it's not because it has this film, so it is an, a matte one. Uh, it has uh, exactly the same uh, resolution as the original one. Uh, so let's uh, let's get into it. Now I always uh, I always mention uh, before you start to work on anything on your computer, make sure you disconnect the battery. Or if that's not possible, make sure the computer is completely off. Now, this computer looks like it has a removable battery. Uh, however, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to remove the battery. It's very easy to do so. We're going to pull it right out. Now, you would think that the computer has no battery. These ones were designed to have a backup battery, which is inside. So, even with the battery removed, the computer still starts. As you see, so the battery it is removed now press on the power button and hold it down for at least seven to ten seconds to make sure that the computer is completely off and is not on a sleeping mode because if power still goes to the screen you will mess up the main board you will burn the the backlight fuse or the backlight circuit and then it's gonna turn out uh, to be a much more expensive repair the computer it is off Right now, so if you wanna, if you wanna make sure, if you wanna avoid any any problems uh, like this, what I would do, uh, you can remove the back, the top case. I'm sorry, the bottom case, and you'll get to the secondary battery, unplug it, and then get to work the screen. I'm not gonna do that now because I know this computer is off, uh, and the chances of it to start while I'm working on it are minimal, unless by mistake I press the power button. But I guess I know a little bit better than that. Now, uh, what you need now, it's a pry tool, so I'm going to use this one, okay, and what I'm going to do with it, uh, you see right here, there is a, a space in between the front bezel and the top case, so we want to remove this particular uh, piece right here, okay, so I'm going to start, you start from whatever you like, uh, start from the side and slowly make your way over okay you will have to you'll have to hear the cracking sounds that means the plastic it's uh see you have these little tabs right here okay they will have to release uh don't put uh, too much uh, pressure you don't want to break it the tabs i'm talking about so you go around okay On the other side, okay. Now it looks like it is uh, fully removed. However, they figure out to actually glue it onto the old screen. So uh, we'll have to actually pull on it, put some pressure on it, so we'll start from the corner, okay, and just start to, you see, you can clearly see the glue, if you want to uh, go with this one, just to help it release easier, do so, make sure you don't pull too much on the plastic, you don't want to break it, as you'll have to order a replacement one as well after that. 
Now don't worry too much about the screen underneath because that's obviously cracked. So yes, you might damage it, but who cares? Okay, uh, I've seen uh, some people which are recommending using a heat gun on a low setting. I would not really recommend that as you might turn up the heat a little bit too much. Uh, and you're gonna warp this plastic and then again you'll have to replace it now it's not a lot of glue so it shouldn't give you too much uh, too much trouble okay so just slowly peel it off you see like on the on this side actually it's coming very easily coming off very easily a little bit harder on the right side okay we're gonna help it up with the pry tool Okay. Now remember to have some tape, double-sided tape, available uh, if you want to glue the screen back. Now we're going to work our way onto the bottom of it. Okay. Where well, it's a combination of glue and clips. So slowly, you don't want to bend it. Just. Pull it off just like that, and then you'll hear the clips. Okay. Now, this is the part when you work on the bottom, please watch the power button, which is right here. Don't press it. Don't turn it on, don't turn on the computer by mistake because you can short it up. Okay, and it looks like we are almost, almost done. Okay, so we removed the plastic bezel. I'm going to show you how to remove the glue from it a little later on once we get to it. Now we're going to take a screwdriver and you'll notice there are four screws. Uh, one, two, three, four. Those are the screws which are holding the LCD into place. We're going to remove them okay okay the screw is removed we can just pull the screen just angle it okay and we can safely pull it down and I'm gonna show you the connection which we'll have to actually remove so there's the connection right there the LCD connector uh, which it's using a little bit of a tape to uh, safely attach on the back of the LCD we're gonna remove that Okay, let me get my tweezers. You can pull on it with your uh, with your fingers uh, or use a tweezer. Okay, usually it comes pretty. It's pretty difficult to remove it, but once you make your way around it, it will come pretty easily. So. You can as well cut it around here, but you might actually want it to reattach it, use a different tape after that, uh, just to secure the connector onto the back of the new LCD. Okay. Now, I would like to know what type of tape they're using because all the tapes whenever you need a tape which is sticky it does not stick now this guy it's crazy sticky okay so it is removed and now I'm mean, uh, let's see there is a little bit of a tab I'll show you right now let me see if my camera will zoom it will be clear enough for you guys to see okay. you'll have to lift see there is a little bit this piece you'll have to lift it up like that and then push the connector backwards okay now it is safely removed okay 
Now we're gonna let me just zoom out and from here a little bit. Okay, now we have the screen removed. And now, before we go any further, this would be a good time for you to check if the new screen which you got it is fully functional. You don't want to check it once everything is reattached. So again make sure the computer is off you have no light over there okay and we're going to plug in the connector okay now let me show you the connector let's see this one is pretty pretty easy uh, lift the tab make sure it's on the back and then just slide it into the connector and you can use the tweezers to do the final move to make sure it's all the way in okay and we're gonna reset that bar we can reapply the tape and use a different tape if you have if you wanna uh, secure it into place that's not gonna go anywhere anyways but now we're gonna lift the screen up put it kind of in its place and fire up the computer let's uh, let's see let's see how it looks okay perfect I see the Lenovo I see everything yeah that's normal to see the automatic repair because I shut it off a couple of times now we're gonna shut off the computer okay we're gonna put back the four screws so I have these four fellas okay screen it's fully attached okay as you see it now um, this might be very redundant at this point uh, to tell you what's the model number of your original screen but here we go there you have it I hope you can see it you can pause right there it is a Inolux N140HCA-EAB Rev C1 this is the part that you wanna you wanna get okay um let's see and yeah that's that's that now i'm gonna show you the screen it's in place now we're gonna remove any residual glue which might be if there is any residual so we're gonna check to see how this looks and matter of fact it came pretty pretty clean so I'm just gonna clean up my uh, fingerprints so I can reattach uh, to make it uh, less oily so I can reattach a new layer of glue. Um, you might want or you might you might want to skip this part if you don't have a double sided tape it's not crucial to, uh, to do it it's not absolutely necessary but I like to give the computers back uh, exactly as I uh, in the original form so I'm gonna go back to my trusty red tape, red double sided tape, which is awesome. Uh, it's very, uh, very sticky. Uh, you can find it on, on uh, Amazon. Okay, it comes, the good part about it, it comes in four different uh, sizes. Uh, you'll find the size uh, that you want. You're gonna reapply it just like this, and uh, that's that. You now I'm gonna. That's pretty boring. So it's like watching the grass growing. I'm gonna reapply the, uh, the adhesive tape, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the adhesive uh, strips in place, and uh, I'm just taking the protection from the adhesive. Okay. Now, if you chose to put as it the adhesive strips, uh, when you're gonna put back the screen, I want you to make sure it is absolutely in the perfect position uh, for reassembling. Because if not, if you and you put the adhesive strips, you might have a big problem removing uh, the the bezel. 
after it's attached. So, if you choose not to put the adhesive sheets, then you're fine. If you make a mistake, it's fine. You can always take uh, take the bezel off, and that's that. So we're gonna try the screen one more time. Make sure that it is working before we uh, we close it up. Okay, it is starting up. We're gonna shut it off again. Now, let's put the screen a little bit backwards. Okay, you're gonna take the frame and you're gonna start from the bottom. So you'll see it, you'll see the front bezel, it goes all the way where it's touching the hinges, right? Right there and right there. You lay it slowly, make sure it aligns on the top, and now you're gonna start to press it. You'll have to hear the clips right here engaging. Okay, one, two, three, and you can actually feel where they are. Make sure you don't put any pressure on the screen itself, please. Okay. And now we're gonna work our way up on the sides. Okay. Put the clips in and we're gonna clip it on the top. And that's, that's the way uh, as you see, um, everything is perfectly in place. It looks exactly. There are no gaps, thanks to the adhesive strips. Uh, on the side, it also looks as it's supposed to. So yeah, that's that's about it. We're gonna do one last test. Make sure we didn't mess up anything. Turn it on. The computer turns on. So that's job done. And as you see, with a minimal set of uh, tools, basically uh, we needed a Phillips screwdriver to remove the, the four screws which are holding the screen together. We needed a pry tool, patience, and yeah, maybe a tweezer to remove the, um, the um, tape on top of the, of the LCD connector. And of course you needed the, the actual uh, tape if you choose to go with that. So uh, hopefully uh, this uh, teach you how to replace your own screen in the Lenovo T470 and T460. It's a very easy procedure, uh, it's going to save you some money. And if this video was, uh, was useful uh, for you guys, uh, please like it, leave a comment uh, if you wish and uh, subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos uh, to come, instructional videos to come. Again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, have a good one.